the, the general people. public. Who else? Other services like the NHS. Like, you know, okay, other people who are competing yeah. with it, other yeah. services. Who else is going to care? Do you think heritage professionals are going to care? Yeah. Okay, so heritage professionals are going to care. Who else is going to care? You said the Treasury, but the government generally. Well, Treasury, government generally. Is put Treasury and government together. What are they going to care about? So you've got the local community here. You're thinking about four billion, you know, six billion pounds worth of money on heritage. What do you care about? Forget the heritage part. What what matters to you? Is it that it's spent in your local area? I mean, what do you want? Yeah, so we are the Local enhancement and regeneration and social mobility and related to that is affluence, really. They want control over how it's spent and when. Okay, so you want, so you don't want to be told what to do with the money. No, so you don't want have to autonomy. Autonomy. Um, and probably no other obligations. You know. Okay. So you don't want too much bureaucracy or paperwork? No. No bureaucracy, no, no. conditions. And yeah, they don't want to they might not necessarily want to commit to kind of community kind of heritage. Well sometimes they don't they want minimal because, intrusion. Yeah. You know, minimal like intrusion. Yeah, okay. Want, they want the money to do the projects, whether it's repair work and Fair adding, enough. Yeah. We said that as a sort of like addendum to that, that there's always those like adverts at the end of the lottery um, yeah. to promote them, which were like, oh, it was invested into this many schools, yeah. this heritage part, we thought it was. Either they get a warm, fuzzy feeling inside because we're spending money on something on the heritage to us, or they think it's a complete waste of time and they want to spend on everything else. Okay, and so if they want health, education. Okay, so let's write down health, education, infrastructure. infrastructure. They're going to want, for their area of interest, fair access to this Okay, money. so fairness is an important word. Yep. Um, and I think, they, I think they're going to want criteria which are inclusive that can mean... Clear criteria. Things. Okay, so fairness and clear criteria. Okay, so it could be cost savings. So, it could so create, cost savings is one form of... Value Sorry? Creates additional value. So you have an investment and then it's yeah. set. Okay, but is that, additional, is that just additional financial value? Sustainability as well, but not just okay, financial value. Mean? So you you give you give the money, and it's not then you don't need more money afterwards. So it's so it's uh, ah so. okay. So there's sustainability in terms of economic and social benefits, yeah. but there's also sustainability in terms of whatever the word for not having to spend the money again. Yeah. And where I was coming from, is certainly my experience of treasury, you know. Audit, accountability, where's my manager? Um, you know, my budget manager, hello, I <laughs> think you'd come back in handy. Um, audit, accountability, you know, probity, all of the sort of financial procedures and practices. We want to make sure things are done properly. Okay, so do you care about quality standards in heritage? Okay, we are the first person to mention quality standards in heritage in this whole conversation, aren't we? So, does anybody else care how we repoint the masonry or how well we manage the site? I suppose the users and direct users might. Might. Yeah, yeah, users might, the public might. If they're informed. Sure. Yeah. It might take, okay. it might take the time means, until yeah. something fails yeah. before there's yeah. but you, awareness. But you care about the heritage aspects of the project, so you care about how it's going on heritage. What else do you care about? It's allocated to our area of interest, yes. whatever that may be. Yes, self enlightened self interest is cool. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, you know, you, you care that it's actually spent on heritage. Yeah, it's not, not wasted, wasted and it's sustainable, so that and it's sustainable. projects aren't seen to fail. We have businesses and the taxpayer. Yep. And um, the business ones we had were 
businesses might be looking for business opportunities and benefits. Okay, so business opportunities, yep. Might be looking for infrastructure yep. spending to be included. Um, for local enhancement and regeneration. Okay, so something in the local area you care about. You don't want yep. it in Liverpool, you want it in York. Uh, What's the taxpayer care about? Oh, by the way, do you want do you want us to sub if us is the lottery, do you want us to subsidise other businesses in competition with you? No, so we might be looking to protect our interests. <laughs> okay. As well as promote our interests. And okay, what do taxpayers care about? Um, taxpayers, we thought, might be looking to bridge the gap between cuts in local services and yeah. which is runs counter to the legislation. Honestly. Wait, does the Treasury want you to um, bridge the gap? Probably does, but it's not allowed. It's not allowed to say. Okay. Um, looking for educational opportunities. Education, yeah. Sort of social inclusion agenda. Yes. Okay, um, so social benefits. Economic development as well. Economic development, social benefits. Leisure opportunities. Leisure, yep. And we put um, increased accessibility to places. Okay, and access to places. Yeah. These are the economic, social and environmental benefits that flow from investing in that, in heritage. It doesn't have to be heritage, it could be anything. But those are benefits. These ones are what I call, if you like, institutional values. These are values of benefits that are around the way the money is handled. Is it transparent? Is it clear? Is it handed out fairly, effectively? Is it given to the right people? And there is a third kind of value that we didn't really come to in this discussion, but it is there, which is, if you like, the intrinsic values of heritage, which is the fact that heritage is significant and has meaning. These are, if you like, what I call the public value triangle for heritage. The words I've taken to you, I used to call it instrumental, intrinsic, instrumental, institutional. But so it's much easier to say significance, sustainability, and service. So there we are. Significance, sustainability, and service. We create value by caring for what is significant and has meaning. Values throw, flow from our investment and that's the sustainability aspect of what we do. But also our values in the service, the service we create for the public and how we behave as institutions is equally important. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is a little bit of an exercise to introduce you to the concept of public value and to show you how I use it, how it's about going beyond significance to think about the wider aspects of the value of investing in heritage and to thinking about how we behave as heritage institutions. Thank you. Thank you.